Hello and welcome to your Simplified Coin Review. If you haven't done so already, make sure you smash that like button for us. Big shout out to everybody that's been doing that, all of our subscribers. We appreciate each and every one of you. So today we are going to be looking at Zillica. So we headed on over to coinmarketcap.com. As you see here, it is ranked number 26 on CoinMarketCap. Uh, it has risen quite a bit from its meager beginnings as an ICO, and uh, it has risen to the top 30, and it has been pretty consistent. So it is a token. It's an ERC-20. Eventually, it will be on its own platform, but for now, it is an ERC-20. It's coming in at about 11 cents, uh, 1,500 Satoshis. The market cap is $831 billion. The uh, circulating supply is 7 billion, almost 7.5 billion uh, Zill tokens. The total supply is 12.6. So it's roughly about 65% uh, of its total supply uh, it has in circulating supply right now. So look at the charts. It launched this year. Uh, it, it went on coin market cap at the beginning of February, which was, you know, the greatest time ever for crypto. Uh, so uh, as you look here, you see in the beginning of May, they had quite a high amount of volume that caused the price to spike. But it's just been in some uh, sideways action. So I'm going to be using this article today from CoinCentral.com. Uh, is I do a lot of research on these tokens and coins. Uh, it's hard to find a, one uh, link that has all the information I'm looking for on it. But this article from Coin Central actually did a really good job of explaining Zillica, all the different facets of it, why it needs the token, uh, what its solution is to scalability, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look. It was written on February 8th, but all the information in here that I found is still good. So what is Zillica? An in-depth look at a high scalability solution. So we talk about it all the time. It seems like, okay, what are the two buzz words, buzz categories of cryptos right now. They are scalability cryptocurrencies and also interoperability cryptocurrencies. So Zillica falls into the scalability. It is trying to solve the problem of how to scale with transactions. If we look back to December when Bitcoin was on its meteoric rise, there was not enough uh there, there wasn't enough in the network to be able to, to process all of the transactions in an adequate amount of time. And so what we saw is that we were not ready for mainstream adoption. If we were, the Bitcoin network couldn't have handled it So or the, or the Bitcoin blockchain couldn't have handled it. So Zillica wants to be a blockchain that can solve the problem of scalability. It's got a unique approach to how it does it. It's similar in some regards to some other ones that we've looked at. Uh, it, that basically it wants to remain flexible and be able to grow, but the the specific way that they're doing it is a little bit different. So Zillica is the first public blockchain designed to implement sharding, allowing for linear scaling as the blockchain grows in size. So we've looked at shards before in terms of data storage, and uh, basically a shard is a piece of a file that is sent somewhere else, so that way uh, the information is not centralized. So basically Zillica wants to use a similar strategy on their blockchain uh, in, instead of storing data just in order to scale their blockchain. So Zillica is trying to fundamentally change the way transactions take place. And by using this sharding system and constantly adding more nodes, uh, what they're trying to do is make it where there's no limit to the number of transactions they could do per second. I believe Visa can do 24,000 transactions per second, uh, and they have like a cutoff, they have a maximum. Well, with Zillica, they're trying to make it where there is no maximum. They're constantly adding things to their blockchain, adding nodes in order to process faster. They will also have smart contracts on uh, within the Zillica platform, and that is one of the challenges with Zillica is how exactly they're going to run these smart contracts, and remain scalable at the same time. Instead of looking back at December and seeing the real life experience of what that looked like with Bitcoin, uh, it, it's good to try to imagine uh, you know, what this would look like as an analogy. So consensus basically means all of the nodes on a network agree on that, that something on the blockchain is correct. Now, have you ever gotten with some of your friends and tried to agree on what restaurant you want to go to? How difficult is it? You only have three or four people and still everyone has their own opinion, but ultimately 
you all decide on an answer that works. Now, imagine if instead of trying to take your friends out to dinner, that you were trying to take out the entire country that you live in. And you had to get everyone's opinion and try to get everyone to agree. It, the whole point is, and of course, the, their computers and, and nodes, and I'm talking about people's opinions, so it's a little bit different, obviously. The analogy doesn't quite fit. Uh, this analogy was taken pretty much from this article. But the whole point is, the more people that you add, that you ask a question to, the longer it takes to be able to get that answer in return. And so thinking about scalability, that's basically what it is, is how can we make it where we can make our network huge, but yet all of the nodes can agree lightning quick. So what is Zillica going to do to solve this scalability problem? So Zillica has found a way to process more transactions as more nodes join the network. It involves reimagining the blockchain from scratch. Their new model implements a hybrid consensus protocol to grow the network's throughput with every 600 new nodes that join. So basically every time they have 600 new nodes come onto their network, they're able to divide the work that each set of nodes has to do, therefore making the transaction process quicker. So on a private testnet, uh, Zillica has actually approached 2,400 transactions per second. Put that in perspective, Ethereum can do about 10 to 20, and Bitcoin can do about two. So, <laughs> uh, and even though this article was written on February 8th, I've done some research and discovered that it seems like these numbers are still pretty similar. Uh, I, I read one article that talked about they were approaching 8,000, but most were saying that they're around the 2,500 transactions per second uh, number. So that's a lot of transactions. So the way that they're dividing these is called sharding. So network sharding, divide and conquer in parallel. So as you can see here, here is a chart of what basically it looks like. Uh, the network is divided into groups called shards, each shard running consensus protocol. So they divide the nodes into shards, and then a dedicated group combines outputs from each shard and reaches consensus on it. So basically each shard has to come to consensus instead of every single node on the entire network coming to consensus together. Okay, so we understand now how they're dividing the nodes and how they're reaching consensus faster, but where do these smart contracts come in? Well, this is where it gets a little bit dicey for Zillica. Okay, so reaching consensus through sharding is pretty simple to understand. However, when you're running a smart contract economy, it's much more difficult for all of the nodes to communicate back and forth about the smart contracts with a sharding system. So while the consensus sharding will work pretty easily, the state sharding, which would be involved in the smart contracts, the, there's not been a solution provided for that yet. Ethereum is also trying to work on a solution to that yet, but so far we haven't seen it. So where does the Zill token come in? Basically, the Zill token is going to serve as a, an incentive for mining, almost kind of like gas with Ethereum. So once they're able to launch their own platform and is no longer ERC-20, that's when the Zill token will actually come into play. So that's pretty similar to how a lot of tokens are working. So let's take a look at their team. Uh, the CEO, Zing Shudong, has a PhD in computer science from uh, Singapore. Uh, he's a cybersecurity expert. A lot of the people on this team are computer science experts. Uh, their chief scientific advisor has a PhD in computer science. So their team has a lot of good educational background within the computer science world. So, of course, that's going to be really good considering this is a very complicated project in my mind. It, it sounds easy, but I, I like the way they came up with a creative solution for how to scale and how you can actually kind of understand it. Some of the other uh, coins or tokens that we've looked at that are tackling the scalability, uh, you know, the scalability problem, they're, they're not really specific with how they're planning to do it. However, Zillica is very clear about that part. But of course, the downside with Zillica is it's unclear how the smart contracts are going to work at this point. So they have their roadmap also on this website. So as you can see, their mainnet is coming up in quarter three of this year. It'll be very interesting to see how it all comes together and where this project is going. We talked about in one of our videos about how out of the 20 top investment funds in cryptocurrency, Zillica is the one that shows up in more than any other cryptocurrency in those funds. So that means a lot of big money is really betting on Zillica. I think this is one that we could see 
uh, just go to the moon. Absolutely. If they're able to get the smart contract issue settled, uh, I, I like the way that they're able to scale. As more money comes in and people are trying to uh, do more transactions, it'll be interesting to see if their solutions will work. So just a quick visit to their website. They have a lot of good information. Their test net is on here. You can get their white paper. Uh, they have a lot of frequently asked questions that you can dig deep into. Uh, their Twitter, they have 41,000 followers, so it's pretty big on Twitter. Uh, as you can see, they are posting every single day. They're posting a lot of announcements. They're posting a, a lot of appearances they're making at conferences and other places. So it's good to see that healthy Twitter. Uh, you can check out their subreddit. They have 7.6 thousand subscribers. It's a very healthy subreddit, one you would expect with a top 30 cryptocurrency. So it's good to see that their community has value, their team has value, uh, their website is very good, what they're trying to do is good. I think, as I mentioned before, the only downside is to see how they're going to handle the state sharding. Uh, if Ethereum doesn't have the solution yet, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to come up with a solution, especially since their mainnet is launching by the end of this year. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've come to know a little bit about what Zilliqa is, what it's trying to do. Don't forget to smash that like button, especially if you are a fan of Zilliqa, so more people can see this and know exactly what they're trying to do. Uh, unless you're trying to hide all of the gains for yourself, which is not good. Let's share, guys. Let's shard, if you will, but not that way. So uh, anyways, thanks for joining us. Until next time, that was your Simplified Coin Review.